Hello everyone, Brooklyn is in the house and today we're going to be diagnosing the AK-5C and seeing if it's actually worth using or losing it in Battlefield 4 and this cluster of weapons that are in the game. So here in Hainan Resort I go 29 and 6, joining the game pretty late and starting off the 3 kills in an unconventional manner by actually getting a counter knife, a claymore kill and a quick AK kill. But I'm using the M9 as well as my sidearm, it's my most used sidearm and it's my favorite to use of all time. But here using a 700 rounds per minute weapon with a .32 upwards recoil, I decided to slap on that muzzle brake on this weapon to mitigate that upward recoil. I'm also using the Coyote Red Dot sight and the angled foregrip in this setup as well. I found that using it on the support class is the better way to go since you can replenish your ammo and claymores, you can never go wrong with those bad boys as you catch those guys tripping over them all the time. So now, this weapon is best used in mid to longer range engagements, even though at 50 meters per second, you actually lose all of your damage output and actually do a measly little 15.4. So it's really not that viable to engage in very long range situations, but it is good for those mid range and close range engagements. The hip fire on this weapon is okay. It's pretty decent in my opinion, but I wouldn't go hip firing it at all match. And in my opinion, using this weapon on maps like Hainan Resort or Operation Lock even parasol storm rogue transmission I find it that when you find that little niche between medium and long but not so long engagements you really excel at taking enemies out before they can actually kill you as you see here I'm at 22 health and I'm still able to take out one more enemy before getting shot in the back by the bulldog so you really have to be careful when engaging opponents especially engineers and other assault players because they might be running weapons that have a faster fire rate than you so you have to cater yourself to becoming that stealth guy and using the environment to your advantage if I had to rate this weapon, I'd definitely give it a 7 out of a 10. It's lackluster in its damage potential, especially at longer ranges, but it's not bad enough to deter me from using this weapon and actually wrecking the enemy team. I love using this weapon in certain instances and especially in certain maps. It caters to the mid to longer range engagements like I mentioned before and honestly it's a good starter weapon for those who are getting used to playing the game. So in my opinion this weapon is a definite use it if you're trying to find a different weapon to use and are also trying to find a weapon that isn't as hard to learn like for example the FAMAS AEK AN94 or the Bull dog for some references like those weapons have a higher recoil pattern and and really take some time to get to master and with this the certain attachments that you put on it I would say go with the muzzle brake either the suppressor angled for grip or even a stubby grip to actually help you out with that automatic fire now I have been trying to run weapons without any uh, barrel attachments because I feel like sometimes they still really don't do that much of an improvement on your shooting but all in all this weapon is a definite good one to use if you're looking to have some really nice gameplay with it so as always ladies and gentlemen if you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave me a thumbs up show me some support subscribe if you're new and as always ladies and gentlemen stay loyal to your tactics